Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Monday, December the 25th, 2023. And a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday Season greetings to all my members, subscribers, and viewers. I hope everyone had a wonderful day today. Let's take a look at today's daily challenges. All right, double score Monday, double score Christmas Day, why not? Why not? Take advantage of the old double score. Take a big chunk of the old scoreboard. Why not? Now, if you have boosters saved up, now's the time to use these as well. And uh, I believe you could buy boosters if you don't have any in the Atomic Shop for 100 items, if you so wish. Okay, I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out if you're a brand spanking new player, if you're a returning player, or an experienced player. If any one of these particular daily or weekly challenges that are giving you a hard time or some trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. It'll give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas, just to help you guys out. Okay, not a whole lot we could do here in our camp. Other than this one right here, build a generator and a shelter. So we talked about this one several times the last couple of weeks. So if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, if you make your way up here to Vault 51, okay, the hardest part is just making your way up here. Uh, but once when you get up here, there's a little quest you could do, about 5-7 minutes of your time. It's really easy, no enemies. And the end of that quest, you'll get yourself a free shelter, okay? Now, if you were around for Season 13, if you made it all the way to Rank 100, you would have got yourself a free shelter there as well. And if you just happen to pay for Fallout First just once, just for one month, and you claimed... The free shelter for follow first you'll always have this shelter and this is the one that's right here let's go ahead and go inside all three shelters that i own have been free <laughs> fyi i've never paid for a shelter okay build a generator and a shelter let's go ahead and go to our build menu here if it'll let me there we go go down here to generators now this one here is the free uh generator that you get from vault 51 or you get this little one here, just a small, simple generator that you learn right off the hop. Right there, done. Build generator and a shelter, done. You can go ahead and keep that if you like. Or you can scrap it. I choose to scrap it myself. Just as easy. All right, let's head out of here. Okay. What's next here, Jim? Let's see. What else can we do? Let's go ahead and collect Brain Fungus 5. So, I have many videos out there showing you some great locations uh, for Brain Fungus. Uh, one of the best locations, it's a free fast travel. And it's right down here at the Rusty Pick. Let's free fast travel. Let's go in right inside of the Rusty Pick itself. Great spot. Some Brain Fungus. Okay, and another thing that will help you as well, if you're legitimately look, looking for brain fungus, this is a perk card. I believe it's under perception. Let's go down here. There it is there, green thumb. Keep twice as much when harvesting flora, okay? So you can use this one here just to harvest more. But there should be enough around here. There we go, one for three. Perfect. I don't think there's any in here. All right, let's head downstairs. There. And this should be two spots here. There we go. There you go, there you go. Click brain fungus, five for five, done, easy. Pretty neutral area. You know what I mean? Once upon a time, there used to be mole miners down here, actually, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, used to be mole miners down here once upon a time ago. Okay. Uh, what's next, Jim? Collect Mothman eggs three. Perfect. Perfect. As I head back to my camp here, and I'll show you a little something. So this year, we got an item... And it's a camp resource. Let's head into the house here. And it's the Mothman Nest. 
but it was only one time exclusive for a particular event that we had earlier on in the year this guy right here and uh, he will um, actually see Mothman eggs so you can collect Mothman eggs from this Mothman nest I actually made a video on it if you want to check that out uh, but this will be under resources so you go into your build menu so you might have it you might not even know it you would just go into resources here you just scroll down straight here right and uh, after a little while he will uh, collect uh, four Mothman eggs so you don't even get to leave your camp but uh, because it was only an exclusive item to that particular event, of course, we can collect Mothman eggs all over the uh, wasteland, mostly where cultists are, okay? Uh, but um, where we're going to go today is right close to my camp. We're going to go to Point Pleasant. Everyone knows about this spot, so we'll go here. There's actually a couple locations here. Just got to get through a couple of cultists first. Right down here. Oh, moved. He moved on me. Huh? <laughs> Holy moth, man, what? Yeah, right on, buds. These folks are some dedicated, I tell ya. Alright, so you can head into the middle of the town, of course, where they have the Mothman statue. Or you can just head down here, right closer to the water's edge. There'll be a couple more down here, but these guys are fairly easy. You can get in here nice and sneaky, if you like, or you can take care of these cultists if you like as well. Nothing stopping ya. So here's some Mothman eggs there. Let's go ahead. Yeah, and just like that, kill. Collect Mothman eggs three for three. And of course, up there by the uh, statue right in the middle of the town is uh, a large <laughs> number of Mothman eggs. Or you can use that Mothman nest if you happen to have it right in your camp. Give you guys a couple options anyway. Now, I did a video um, quite some time ago. I would say maybe in May. <laughs> and um, there's a location up here. It's called uh, Ingram uh, Mansion. If I can find it here. Sorry, I'm just getting off of work there, and uh, I'm uh, kind of losing my train of thought. Getting old, eh? Getting old. But uh, Ingram Mansion is uh, no longer a hot spot for the uh, cultists, and we will not find uh, Mothman eggs there also. That's right here. So that's what I was looking for. So it used to be, I used to have like the same kind of symbol as the uh, cultists, these guys here. But it's totally changed now. And uh, it's no longer, because I did a video on that at the Ingram Mansion, probably, I think it was like uh, maybe three or four weeks ago. I think it was on December 5th or 6th. And I made that video just showing uh, the changes at that place. So if you come across that video of mine, don't bother going there. It's no longer valid. I did... Um, update the description on it there but uh, Point Pleasant is definitely a good spot to go that spot will probably never change and it's hard to tell these days because this game changes like all the time and as a content creator it's hard to keep on top of her um let's see what else we got going on here scrap junk to produce circuitry five all right so circuitry we cannot bulk at the tinker's workbench now the last time we had this last week I took you up here to the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. Okay, we were looking for telephones there. Where I'm going to take you here today, I'm going to take you to right here to the National Isolated Radio Array. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. I have several videos out there showing you some great spots for circuitry, so you can check those out. Whichever one's closest to your area, if you don't like fast traveling or you don't have the caps. I just try to give you guys different ideas. All right, so here we are at the National Isolated Array, and we're here to scrap junk to produce circuitry because we cannot bulk circuitry at the Tinker's Workbench. Now, there's going to be some super mutants here, normally. Maybe the odd mutant hound. So we'll see what we come across here today. And there's our boy there. 
He's fierce. But not too fierce. Now the trick inside here, it's a little confined. So make sure you have a good weapon with you. And just be aware there'll be super mutants around. Let's take care of this cat. <laughs> so what we're looking for, see down there, those telephones down there? That's what we're looking for, those telephones. Now one telephone will give us one circuitry, so we need at least five of them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, right there in the phone. Perfect. Perfect. So we got five of them. Let's head out of here. Oh my lord. Get him, will you, Jim? Holy. Hi, let's get out of here. <laughs> so we good? He's a transporter. He's fierce. He's running for his life. Get those cats up there. Alright, let's head back to uh, my camp. Or any old workstation will do. Let's head back here. There we go. Things are getting a little hairy. And I'm not in any mood to be fighting those guys. <laughs> Alright, back at my camp. We get our five telephones. Let's scrap them. Let's go to any, any old workbench will do on the map. Let's go ahead and scrap. See? Uh, one telephone will give you one circuitry. Let's scrap all five. Done. Scrap done to produce circuitry five for five. Just like that, guys. Just like that. What's next here, Jim? Old pal of mine. Cripple Scorch's arm, too. Perfect. Scorches are all over the place. Let's um, let's go right down here to the uh, Poseidon Power Substation PX1. Just down the road. Around the corner, over the river. <laughs> Alright. So we are here <clears throat> at the Poseidon Power Station PX1. Cripple Scorch's Arm too, so we can free aim for Scorch's Arm if we so wish. Or we can use VATS. If you choose to use VATS, there's a perk card for that. It's under Perception. It's called Concentrated Fire. This allows you to move your VATS around from head, torso, arms, legs. Okay? I prefer to use VATS myself. So again, let's, let's go for the arms. Now, I have a little hard time crippling anything in with energy weapons. Just to FYI. Ballistics are a lot better. If you have a ballistic weapon. Let's go for the arm. Right arm. There we go. How about left arm? Left arm. There we go. So if you do it right, you can... Uh, all you need is one scorch if you do it right. Holy jeez, uppercut. And he's a transporter on top of it. My uh, armor must be down. Oh, game, what are you doing to me today? What is this game doing? Huh. Wow. That's quite something. Copper scrap? I don't see that very often. Okay, good stuff. Just like that, guys. <laughs> Just like that. But if you're at a different location, like if you don't have to come to this location, you can if you like. But, uh, as we all know, there's Scorched all over the map, and, uh, yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. What's next, Jim? Kill a glowing creature one, okay? So we tried killing some glowing Myalurks the other day, if you guys remember. I think it might have been yesterday, up here at the Toxic Dried Lake Bed. And they didn't count, for some reason, I don't know why. They've counted before, they're glowing, and I don't understand why. Didn't make much sense to me. Uh, let's go over here to Monanga. 
and um, we'll take you over here. Okay, we're here in uh, Monadga, as you can see. Right here in the map. <laughs> gonna kill a golden creature, what? Perfect. And you know which way? Now, Monadga is full of uh, mall miners. Usually about a dozen of them, reliably. And usually about half of them are glowing, okay? So let's uh, go down here. We can see our glowing friend down there. Let's we'll just take care of this guy while he's down here. There we go. Kill a glowing creature one for one. So when it says a creature, obviously anything but a human or a robot. And apparently a Mirelurk. <laughs> they aren't working for some reason, but uh, FYI. But uh, glowing mole miners work. That's good. That's awesome. And there'll be a lot more down there as well. Just in case you guys were wondering. Okay. What is next? Sell everybody's steak to an NPC vendor one. So we can do all this in just one spot. There's a spot called Flatwoods. That's fast travel down there. Now you guys choo can choose to physically walk to these places or whatever works for you in your gameplay. I do a lot of fast traveling because I'm trying to do a video and uh, just try to give you guys ideas and locations, FYI. So we're here in Flatwoods. So we're by stake to an NBC vendor one. All kinds of Brahmin around. Now just FYI, there is a good chance. There is a chance, I should say, that you can kill an animal or an insect and not get any meat off them okay it can happen it will happen so i have to mention it okay because it will happen but we get two brahmin meat off this guy perfect and i think the other guys died in the explosion yeah they did might as well get the <laughs> yeah they all died in just that one shot this weapon hey you know what guys if you guys ever have a chance to try out an alien disintegrator One of these guys, I'm telling you, just try it out. Just try it out. I'm telling you, it's awesome. It works wonders. It's so powerful. <laughs> so we get our uh, Brahmin meat. Let's uh, run down through here to the town. There's some like, cooking stations just on the other side of this transporting dog. All right, so here's our Brahmin meat. Now, ribeye steak is, of course, a simple recipe. It's not a recipe you have to go buy from someone or, learn, or uh, find. You automatically learn it from picking up ramen meat. So let's go to our cooking station here. We get down to all food. Let's go down here to ribeye steak. There we go, ribeye steak. Simple recipe. One ramen meat, one wood. Let's craft all of them. Now, if you're a carnivore, this, this uh, particular ribeye steak works wonders. Or carry weight and such. So that's probably the most important part. Is cooking the Brahmin meat into ribeye steak. If you try to sell the Brahmin meat to the NPC vendor, it's not going to work. You have to cook it at a cooking station. And now we have our ribeye steak. We have our NPC vendor right here in the church. Can't get any better than that. It can be any NPC vendor at any train station on the map. FYI. Let's go ahead and trade. You were off to a great start, volunteer. You just sell just one to this guy. Here we go. Sell her by stake to an NPC vendor one for one. Love it. Love it. Now, see my carry weight there? 280? Let's eat a ribeye steak. I'll show you what it does. 320. Just by eating one. That's, uh... That's the old carnivore effect. Yeah, just FYI. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's it, guys. Are we done? We are done just like that. Double score weekend. Double score Monday. Double score Christmas. Good times. Good times. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. 
like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.